Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess, here to do uh, your bonus read for Monday the 24th of September. Ooh, the Fool just jumped out, how funny, I used a different deck in the, in the daily read and we had the Fool in there too. Um, so lots of new starts for a Monday morning. If um, my read readings resonate with you, that's fine. If they don't, I'm happy for you to move on to someone else. I do want to, however, say a really big thank you for all of those who've subscribed to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I hate that word, subscribed yet, then I'd love to have you on board. Um, it's certainly been an incredible journey in the last month and I, I'm just blown out about the reception. So I'm really glad that for lots of you, my readings are resonating. Um, for this reading, I, I'm going to use the Hanson Roberts. I used the Morgan Greer for the other one. Um, it's very slippery. I need to give it some more work so it gets less slippery. But um, we'll use the Hanson Rob Roberts one. It's one of my favourites. It's a beautiful little deck. And I wanted to have a bit of a change. I, I get a bit, I don't know if it's bored, but I get a little tired of seeing the same things over and over again. So, and I know we're all drawn to the Chiro Marchetti deck. The Gilded Tarot is such an easy deck to read. And some of these take just a little bit more to read, but that's okay. Okay, ready to do your reading. Okay, what have we got? Four of Pentacles. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles shows a person hanging on to their pentacles. Now, it could be that you're hanging on to money, you're saving at the moment. Maybe you're going through a time when money is really hard for you to accumulate. But whatever this is, it's someone hanging on to something. Now, beyond money, it can be other things too. It can be hanging on to your past. It can be clinging on to a memory. It can be clinging on to something that doesn't serve your good. I mean, he obviously isn't happy with this. It's not making him happy being in this position. Um, a friend of mine always says she sees this as being some form of enlightenment, like it's like this is the situation, but this is what um, he, he wants to aspire to. But at the moment, he's clinging on for dear life, this fella. Okay, let's see why. Okay, so the first card out is the Two of Rods. Now, the Two of Rods talks about us having a... a, a choice or a dilemma around two ways, two paths, two, two situations, because we're not really sure which one to take. Now, this guy has the world in his hands here, so it's almost like some, the world's opening up to him, but he's not sure which road to take. Now, in this card, the sun is starting to shine here, so some clarity is being brought in, but it's almost that thing that he's hanging on to one rod, so, it, one rod, so he knows which way to go, and he's happy to leave the other path behind, but he's still thinking about has he made the right decision? Because he's he's almost ready to go with this one. He knows he has you know his future ahead of him, but he's still not really sure he wants to leave the other one behind. So it's a bit of a deliberation in this. Okay, so the next card out is the Five of Pentacles. Now, obviously, this person you know, is moving away from something that they didn't feel served their good or their highest good or their greatest good. Because it feels like to me that this person has had either been left out in the cold by someone or been feeling a bit spiritually low, a bit flat, maybe a little depressed, a little beaten. Um, I know with the Five of Pentacles, it shows a light inside. So it says that help is there, but you're in a dark place at the moment and you're unable to see that. But definitely moving away from the light too, which is, is quite interesting in this card. So this is definitely a, a sad feeling comes with this card because it's like people are not looking to see what's out there for them. They're inside themselves at the moment and not looking at the great picture here. Maybe that's why you're having trouble trying to pick a pathway because you can't get out of your own head. Okay, well this explains it. So you've just reaching or have reached the end of a cycle in your life this could have been the breakdown of something which makes sense with these other two cards here um, I would say someone's either had a broken relationship or is moving on from work job career business because we saw the four of pentacles in the beginning which talks about hanging on to the past so maybe this has been a difficult decision to move forward here 
um, and you're not happy with the decision. So maybe you've been in a relationship that wasn't working and you've come to a realisation that you need to move forward. You may be hanging on to the pentacles because you love the person but can see maybe it's you know a situation of unrequited love um, where you need to move on. It could be that even though you like the job, the people there are really hard to work with and you're feeling empty and need to move forward. But this is the end of a cycle. Now, the other thing I do note here is there may be people traveling at the moment because we do have the world in both cards. So it could be that you're off traveling at the moment. It could be that you've made the decision to go and the Four of Pentacles was you saving to achieve this. So for some of you, it can be the achievement of travel. Okay, and then we have the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords came up in the weekly, in the daily read as well. So a lot of people going through sleepless nights at the moment. There's lots of changes on the horizon. We're all, you know, discarding things that no longer serve us. We're all looking for more from our lives than we did before. You know, for many years, we were all just plodding along and thought, that's it, that's our destiny. Whereas now, of course, we're realising we have the power to change things if we don't like them. Um, I think with some of the you know, um, talk about, you know, the secret and law of abundance, those sort of things. I think people are really understanding they have more control over situations. But this here talks about you having sleepless nights over this. So it's not a nice card. In fact, it's quite an ugly card. Um, but it does say that you've not been able, you've not been comfortable in your own skin at the moment. Okay, and then we have the lovers. Now, that's funny because this came out in the day reading. And you've got to remember, we're using a different deck here too. Um, and I always say to people, spirit will still make sure we get the messages. I could use 10 decks and the same cards would come out. So I feel like for you, this is about a relationship. Now, it could be about a partnership with someone else that's broken down in terms of work, career, or even a friendship. Um, but I think for the majority of you here, there's a relationship that's finished I feel like you're moving on from something that you feel the other person isn't reciprocating, you feel empty and lonely in this, and even though you're hanging on to it, you know you've had this moment where you think, it's not what I want or need, I need to move on. Um, let's see how we go. Knight of Rods, yeah, this is somebody speaking their truth here, somebody speaking up and leaving something behind something that's hurt them and left them empty, whether that would be a job, career or love. Because again, this is not clear, so I think it's just for everybody, a general moving away, making a decision to move away from something that does not serve your purpose. You've woken up, you've come to the realisation that you're you know, beating a dead horse, as it were. Okay, and then we have the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you put a lot of work into this situation. This guy's really sad here. It's, you know, really sad because he's, you know, been patient. He's been working to try and, you know, raise something from the dead. He's, you know, tried everything to make this work. It's very sad. Or well, you can tell I'm an empath and it's sad at a card. Um, there's an energy here, though, that you've put everything you possibly could have into something and you're not getting anything back. Okay, and then we have the sun. Now, I like this. And we did see the sun in the two of, two of wands, so I knew it was coming in. So there's almost like a, a light being shone on this, you know, some warmth and energy, some renewal some vitamin D coming in rapidly here. And I like that because it says, even though you've been through what you have, that you are heading for something better. So please don't despair because something really, really good is right round the corner. Oh, and we had the tower in the day read too. I'll be the son of a gun. Okay, so this is an epiphany moment I'm feeling definitely with this. I don't feel like it's a um, you know, a horrible thing. I think you've just woken up woken up in the last couple of days and gone. I just can't do this anymore. I need to move on. Very, very clear. How funny that's a reading here and I've got three cards I think from the previous reading. Just a little bit different here because here it actually shows you finishing a cycle, it shows you know, um, the way you're feeling inside. I mean, there's two more cards here of feeling sad, lonely, unhappy with things. 
but definitely this epiphany moment, which is going to put you on a very different path. This is why the guy in the beginning is choosing which way to go. That's a good thing, guys. Whatever you've let go here, it's a good thing. You haven't let something go that was good. Yeah, because you've got a burden to carry. So you still feel very burdened here, and that's evident in that Four of Pentacles at the beginning. You haven't put it down yet, but I feel like it's still very fresh in your mind. So please do understand, don't be too hard on yourself. You made a huge decision here to move forward. You've done it because you know that going forward on the path you're currently on is not the right one for you. Okay. Card, card, card. So we'll pull a card from the Ascended Masters deck. If I pull the same card out here, I'm going to be really spooked. Um, yeah, very similar reading really to the uh, daily read here. I don't think I've had that before. Normally I like to do a bonus because it gives a very different reading. But obviously a lot of people on this path today. A lot of people because the energy is coming through. doesn't want to come out oh there we go okay so you have the card of Moses and it talks about take, taking charge of the situation I really feel that's very relevant today to do because you look like that's exactly what you've done so well done keep going with it whatever it is it's taking you to something better that's evident in the sun thanks guys <laughs>